animated nft art hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can turn your gifts into an nfts having said that let's just jump into it now if you didn't know you could turn gifts into nfts basically you can turn anything into nfts it's very simple all you need to do is just take the first step now i'm going to be showing you how you can create some of the gifts into nfts now mine won't be exactly like these ones over here they'll be a little bit different so but the process is going to be exactly the same you can then how i did it and then you can use your creativity and then you can change whatever you want very simple as well so let's just jump into it so you're going to need a couple of different softwares for this video for now i'm going to be using photoshop but you can use pretty much any other photo editing software that you want and turn a picture into an nft it's very simple so for now i'm going to be using photoshop so i'm going to go ahead and open that up over here and once you have it open up you can go ahead and create a new canvas over here add in the name i'm going to call it test nft and uh, everything looks pretty good i'll change the orientation to you know vertical because my image is going to be vertical so i'm going to go ahead and click on create and there we go now i'm just going to go ahead and import my image as you can see my image has been imported let me just go ahead and zoom in a little bit as you can see this is my image now the process is very simple now what i want to do is i want to have a changing background i don't want to change the image itself so i want to have a changed background so what i will do is i will go over here at the top i will go over to layers and i will choose a new layer choose a new layer okay and there we go now we have a layer i'm gonna pull it back down and i'm gonna change the color of this layer now how do you basically change it i'm gonna pull it back up i'm just gonna deselect it right here i'm gonna choose the shape layer right now and i'm gonna make like a triangle over here there we go triangle has been made now as you can see we have a couple of different options over here we have fill we have strokes and stuff like that what we're going to do is we're going to click on fill and over here as you can see we have gradient color as well so i wanted to have like a gradient color so we're going to choose that and then over here we have like you know some different options so we have like purples we have blues i think these looks pretty nice actually purple ones we also have blue ones as well so i i think something along the lines of like green would do good do they have greens yeah they have we have greens over here so we'll go with this one right here we'll go with this one and we'll choose to put the turtle back down and put the layer over here so this is how it's going to look like right and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create another layer create like two or three layers Control shift n. i'm going to create a couple of different layers let's go with uh, one two three four yeah four layers are enough i think so we'll just get rid of this and this and this and this we'll just keep this we'll go into the gradient and we'll choose the other color there we go okay we got the green color over here why can't i see the green color forgot that i need to like place the square again of course i sometimes forget so we'll just go ahead and place the square we got the gradient color over here we'll choose the other layer no wait something is not right we'll go with the other layer and we'll do the exact same thing we'll make a square and then we'll change the color we'll go with something like purplish i think purple looks good and then we'll choose the other layer and do the exact same thing so we're going to do a couple of these and after that we can go ahead and change up the feel of things so right now i'm going to choose this color i think this looks pretty nice yeah then we're gonna choose the final layer that we have left we're gonna add the rectangle over here or square whatever you want to call it we'll go with something pink no, we go with where is it purple and we'll go with this one here we go so we can even change the like the degrees of it like you know we have linear we have radical angular and stuff like that whatever you want well we can go ahead and do that so i'm gonna keep it like this i'm just showing you as an example so we'll just put the turtle at the top and layers at the bottom okay we'll do with this so if we want we can change the layers of it as well you know it's pretty simple so now that we have it let's go over to windows this is this is the most important part we're gonna be actually making a gif 
with a different background keep it like this for now okay we'll go into the windows and over here we'll go into where is it i sometimes can't find it here we go timeline this will open up the timeline window over here we're gonna create a video timeline all right well, that's going to be like frames and stuff we're gonna create frame animation this is the first frame right here for the second frame i want this is the first frame right we'll go ahead and click on this for the second frame we'll choose this we'll choose the other background for the fourth third frame if you choose one frame it'll get very very fast so let's just go ahead and make two frames of each we'll go with this and choose this one and then two of these and for the third one we'll go with this and then two of these and for the fourth one we'll go with this and two of these and then finally this one and two of this okay so i think it's done all right if we play it this is how it looks like all right it looks like a fun little party it looks like it's popping off real quick like the turtles in the club and stuff like that so this is how we basically do it you create different frames and you each select a different frame and then down below you even have like seconds over here all right you can add a delay so i can go with like 0 0.5 seconds delay over here 0 0.5 over here if i wanted to slow it down right We'll go with 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, or 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, and 0 0.2. Let's change it to 0 0.2 as well, and this one is 0 0.2 as well. So if I play right now, this is how it looks like. So as you can see, it's much more slower. I think this one looks more nicer. So we'll go with this one, actually. So once everything is set, once everything is good, you can add in this uh, tween effect if you want, but whatever. You can do other things as well. You can go ahead and add some filters on it. Like there are some filters over there at the top. You can go ahead and do that on each image if you want to, but it all totally depends upon you. So once you have, you know, created the uh, NFT or your video or your GIF, the only thing left to do is to export it. Now to export it, you come over here and click on file, click on export, and you go ahead and choose save for web legacy all right you choose that over here you get this over here okay so you get like your own preset you have your gif 120 d third no d third d third no d third whatever you want give restrictive you have jpeg you have pngs whatever you want so we'll go with gif no d third you have everything set whatever you want once it's done you just simply click on save and you choose the location where you want to save it so i'm gonna go with my images camera roll and we're gonna save it over there now we're just gonna go ahead and check it out so we had it over here here we go as you can see it's changing colors it looks pretty nice it's really fun and i highly recommend you do it now that all that's left is we go over to open seas and we upload it let's go ahead and upload it the upload part is very easy as well so we're on open seas right here we go over back to open seas we click on wallet choose metamask it'll open up the metamask wallet right we just enter in our password we have our wallet over here now we just go over to create and it'll send a transaction to our wallet which we'll have to assign and after that this will pop up now we just have to upload our image that we you know created it's in pictures camera roll over here we'll go with party the turtle i don't have any external link but if you have one just upload it over here then a description of the nft itself basically showing what it is happening over here and stuff like that and i basically wrote it's an image of a turtle with changing background now i don't have a collection or properties i would have added it to that i only have one supply i'm going to change it to polygon because i don't want to pay any gas fees so if you don't want to pay any gas fees choose polygon but if you want to have a bigger market or you know if if you don't mind paying the gas fees then choose ethereum whichever one works for you and i'm going to click on create wait a couple of seconds and boom our party tool has been created we'll just go ahead and sell it as well so for the amount i'm looking for it should be 0 0.5 yeah i think that's it we'll keep it for like a month 28 days and we'll just complete the listing and it'll send a transaction to our wallet which will just sign right now party nft has been listed as an nft there we go
our NFT has been listed. Now we can cancel the listing anytime. And if I get any, you know, pricing or any offers, I'll just basically sell them. All right. So that's how you basically do it. That's how you create GIFs and upload them onto OpenSeas. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. Having said that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.